Hello, and welcome back to a, another tarot reading from Planet Frog. Um, tonight I'm going to be asking the zeitgeist what's going on, and particularly with regards to the consciousness of the Skeksis. Now, you're probably going to think to yourself, what on earth is Frog going on about? Well, for obvious reasons, we need to be careful here on YouTube about what we're saying and what we're identifying. So, for those of us with ears to hear and eyes to see, we can tune in to the symbolism of what's around us. And indeed, great productions, movies that in the past have perhaps given us some sort of insight into future and I'm just gonna throw the cards down now see what we get first card present moment second card past third card near future fourth card future right let's have a look at these cards see what we get Ace of Swords for the present. The past is the Nine of Wands. The near future is the Two of Cups and the distant future is the Eight of Wands. Mm. Okay, what we have here is a reading based on the question, where are the Skeksis in the current zeitgeist? How are they feeling? Uh, how are their intentions unfolding? Um, where are they at? And when I say the Skeksis, of course, I mean in relation to the wider story of the Dark Crystal, if you will, um, but that includes the Mystics, the Pod People, and the Gelflings. And so we'll just have a quick look here. We have the Ace of Swords as the present moment. The past uh, moment is the Nine of Wands, and then moving on to the near future, we have the Two of Cups, and finally at the end we have the eight of wands so what does this mean well i'm going to come at it from the skexies point of view initially and the ace of swords uh really says to me that there's a and a sense of empowerment there within the skexies um at least there's the appearance of empowerment. The sword, of course, represents truth and uh, cutting through the air, intellect, those sorts of things. And uh, there's the sense of victory uh, with the crown and the greenery coming down from the crown at the top. Uh, in the distance, you have these mountains here as if we're conquering the earth. Now, this may be very well, this may be what is being presented by the Skeksis, and um, it may well very much represent part of the Skeksis agenda, but um, from a, uh, a podling's point of view, it may well be worth to um, question which hand is holding this sword, because of course a sword is double-edged and in the right hands it could produce wonderful noble outcomes but in the wrong hands it could be in fact used for destruction and not very nice outcomes so we need to be careful there um, the um, previous card the one that precedes the present moment 
for the Skeksis it's sort of interesting because it shows that the if we're to take this individual who is representing the Skeksis uh, they appear weary perhaps a little battle-worn they're overcome with uh, roots with ideas with their agenda perhaps and the agenda um, has almost overtaken them to the point that if the agenda continues to overtake them in this nine of wands these sprouts could grow and block out this view behind them which is in the first card part of the world that they want to claim dominion over so this ace of swords to me represents a kind of attempt to get rid of this clutter here which has left them feeling exhausted and weary and start afresh so to speak the near future is the two of cups now often this card is a very positive warm card it uh, represents the union between two people often romantic um, love interests um, but because we're looking at it this from the Skeksis point of view um, we need to take uh, take a mirrored interpretation of what might be being said here so the Skeksis here may be using this near future projection as an attempt to push through the agenda they have with the ace of swords it may uh, represent in fact the uh, an obstruction to the skexies agenda the sword may be looking to slice through the caduceus here which is very much like the dna of humankind and they are going to use the shimmera here of passion and fire to do that um, so this may represent in some ways um, uh, the attempt for or a symbol for the Skeksis to uh, focus their attention on to divide uh, humanity uh, from another aspect it may be that the Skeksis are meeting up together uh, or see that fruition will only come for them should they gather together and uh, join forces amongst their disparate groups to find common ground now I often feel that the Skeksis themselves because of their nature are a bit like pigs at a trough they 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 cling together for the love of power and control but um, when push comes to shove um, they are all out for themselves so this may be in some ways an indication of their undoing um, on the flip side um, it's good news for the podlings it's good news for the gelflings in the sense that uh, it shows them potentially coming together and unifying um, against the uh, threat of the Skeksis agenda so we'll just leave that there move on to the final card which is the longer distance view and we have the eight of wands so the eight of wands is a very sort of busy card shows these wands these sticks these spears perhaps flying through the air it's not um it's not a a restful card in the slightest it doesn't show any sense of resolution it shows things in flow so from the Skeksis point of view um, despite this possibly uh, clear uh, direction and uh, hope that they may have the outcome of this is the eight of wands which shows that they are conflicted with lots of challenges simultaneously that they have to deal with so um, from the Skeksis point of view I would say that this is not entirely um, the sort of card that they would want to have at the end of the show 
because it really implies that there's tons more to do and in fact you could say that because the past is the nine of wands and the future is the eight of wands that in a sense their agenda whatever it is is moving backwards and so we can see uh, in uh, the world at the moment there are indeed um, many ones flying around with much confusion and there's a lot of pushback so this spread reflects very much the kind of world we are in at the moment where we're caught between what appears to be a singularity and duality and on either side of these two cards is a lot of confusion a lot of ideas there's a competition going on here in between the cards the Skeksis and humanity <laughs> or the podlings are indeed caught between a mass of potentiality and it's not clear at this point in time which way the cards are falling in terms of whose favor it is all we know is that there's much more challenges much more uh, things to present themselves to come anyway this is planet frog on the 24th of april 2024 giving you a reading from the zeitgeist based around how i interpret the dark crystal I really appreciate you listening and watching. We're a small channel, so please give us a like and subscribe. And perhaps I'll see you again for another tarot reading. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you for existing. Bye-bye.